Happy Saturday! It's Castaway Trader again and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is called Urban March Battle between Bears and Bulls and how to make money in the process. I want to remind you that I have a website www.castawaytraders.com where I post my regular updates. And before we start, I want you to read that important disclaimer. On March 4th, 2019, I posted this chart. That was the first chart I posted on Urban in my private educational chat. I said to my followers that I wanted it under $29 and it could drop under $27. So as you can see, I had a pretty wide range of potential bottom for Urban. And this is where I put my green target box in between $29.22 and $28.66. And I was looking at the structure that started at the top in August 2018, when Urban used to be priced at $52, and it dropped in 8 months to less than $30 as a completed 5 wave down fractal. And this is the main reason why I was looking at that fractal, because I was expecting a completion of that fractal, and as a result, a pullback up, a bullish pullback up of that bottoming area. So you could say why urban, and there were several reasons for that. First of all, I had really nice bottoming pattern, meaning I had a fully completed 5 waves down and it only needed m several micro squiggles down to complete that huge down pattern started in August 2018. The second a reason why I'm recording a video about Urban today is that I triggered it a lot in March 2019 and I made good money on it and I wanted to show you the whole process. I predicted several good swings over that month and made good money and I will show you how I did that. The video shows the whole process and how my vision has been changing over the last four weeks. Because many novice traders are still looking for some holy grail method which would help them to pinpoint every single turn in the market, which would help them to pinpoint every single bottom and top. And the sad truth is that such a method does not exist. But of course you won't believe me and you will still keep looking for that, but I was there, I tried to find it and I gave up. And what I really realized is that the holy grail exists, but that holy grail is not a method which would help you to pinpoint every single turn and every single move, but rather a method which would let you to stay confident, which would let you to understand what market is going to make next, even if your prime scenario gets invalidated. And this is why I believe that Harmonic Elliott Wave Theory is the best prediction tool available at the market now. Another reason why I traded Urban is that I really like so-called value stocks. Stocks with very strong fundamentals, profitable companies generating free cash flow and which have very inexpensive valuation. For example, Urban has a operating margin of 9.15%, net margin 5.4% and stunning return on capital of over 35%. It doesn't have debt and its price to free cash flow is only 11.3. That means that the whole company is valued as 11 annual free cash flows. So it's a cash generating machine. And why I like companies like that? Bef because there is a single huge class of investors called value investors. They like stocks like that. They are not as fast as I am and we will be waiting for a confirmation of the bottom. But the deeper stock goes down, the more attracted they are by that stock. So you know that you're gonna be the first 
before that huge class of investors will bring their money on the table buying that stock. But you know, we will be behind your back and we will be supporting the stock with their money. It's like buying an old vintage car on an auction, even if you don't need a car. But you know, there are several billionaires in this country who really want that car and you know that you will always be able to sell that car even if you buy it for yourself and you don't need it. It's like additional support for your, for your investment. It's like additional margin of safety. Even if you mess up with the technical technicals and you enter the stock maybe not at the optimal time, first of all, it will keep making money and it will dig itself out of the hole. And second, there will be a huge class of investors who will be interested in that stock if it keeps going down and they will support that stock and they will help it to reverse and go up. Now let's come back to the technicals. My first chart was when I expected it to make the final drop into the green target box and the very next day on March 5th, 2019, Orbit dropped into that green uh, box. I loaded up here. That happened after market, after Urban actually released released its quarterly results. And I posted that message in my private chat, Urban in the target zone after hours. The very next morning, it jumped away out of that green target box. We had less than $28.50 after hours and the very next morning it was 29.76. I made good money on that call. Later that day on March 6, 2019, I posted now we need a corrective ABC move down to 50%, 61% or even 76% retracement. As you can see, we got a really nice rally, so this is two hour chart, so that was the very first day after my bullish call and after it just dipped under after hours, under 28.50 and the very next day we went over $31, it was quick and easy money, but it was clear that price never moves in, in one direction as a straight line, where will always be a pullback. And this is why I warn my followers that we are going to get a corrective ABC pullback down. And a little bit later, the next day on March 7th, 2019, indeed stock dropped from over 31.50 to a little bit over $30. And at that point, I expected it to keep moving down. I thought that they be up is not completed and once we get a little bit higher we will drop again. But later in the day we did not get that move up and it kept kept moving down. And at this point I provided my followers with another green box where I thought would be reasonable to buy that stock again. And as you can see we got a wave in parentheses A up and A, B, C, very simple and very common retracement down. March 8, 2019, 8.23 am, this is when I posted this chart, I still keep that green target box and as you can see, it just dipped into the box and immediately jumped away and then it's coming back down. Boom! The same day, 9.33 am, just one hour later, it went deeper into the green target box and this is when I started to buy again and this is when I suggested that my followers would do the same. And as we can see we got another move up and that move up, this is 5 minute chart, this is micro chart, March 11th, 10.53 am, so it dipped under 29 and then we got another ABC move up to 29.80. At this point it was not clear whether it's a start of a new rally or just a corrective wave for up. That is why it was reasonable to sell here the stocks again and wait for resolution. Even if it was wave 1 up, we would need ABC down in wave 2 down. Or if it was only corrective way 4 up, then we would need another impulsive decline which would make a new lower low. 
So this is a 15 minute chart posted on March 11th at 2.55 pm and we still have two options on the table. Even if it's a bullish option and we got A up, A, B, C of B down and that was the start of a new bullish wave parenthesis C up, that C up had to be subdivided into five waves and that ABC move up was only the first wave out of those five waves up. And as we expected the price started to decline. First it was moving very slowly and then it started to accelerate lower. And at this point I provided my followers with another green uh, target box located in between 29.50 at 29.30 and my plan was to start buying that stock again because at this point I unloaded my stocks again and started to wait for another entry opportunity. March 12th 11.59 am and at this point it looked really good, it looked bullish because I still expected that continuation of that move up because that ABC up was wave 1 up and that move down could be counted as a, uh, a down, B up and C down in wave 2 down and from here even if that green target box was not tagged I was expecting a continuation of the rally. And we got a small rally that looked promising but then it stalled somewhere here halfway up. And at this point I provided my followers with a bearish interpretation which a bearish count which would imply that the price could still come back down into the green target box. That would be A down, B up and the final C down which would complete that corrective wave to down. On March 13th, 2019, the price started to decline and is expected towards the green target box. And at 3.10 pm on March 13th, 2019, that ABC corrective structure looked very much completed. It looked very promising because I still counted it as parenthesis A up parenthesis B down and from here I expected a parenthesis C up making a new higher high so that had to be a move over $32 and that ABC move up would only be the wave 1 up and that ABC down would be a corrective wave 2 down. The problem here was that that move down kept going down lower and lower. On March 14, 2019 at 9.56 am in the morning I posted if urban closes under 28.80 that would be a bad bearish sign. It can spike through it and come back, then it will be a corrective wave parenthesis B down, setting a stage for another rally in wave parenthesis C up, targeting $30 again. So what we got is price dipped under 28.80. It first landed at 28.50, then we got a sharp corrective move up and then it dipped down again under 28.80. But it did not close under 28.80, it was just a shaking of decline just to make people sell their holdings. And on March 19, 2019. I zoomed out to 2 hour chart again to show my followers my bullish perspective. I posted that it has a tight bullish descending wedge, it's ready to break out. Indeed it looked like a wedge and you can see that the slope of that support is not as steep as the slope of the decline. That shows that bulls we were able to defend that line several times and it showed that at this point bears were exhausted. On that day, March 19, 2019, a new rally started and as I expected, you may remember that I said that if we did not close under 28.80 we would get a rally at least to $30 and this is exactly what we got. It jumped to $30 and stopped here and at this point it looked like it could make even higher highs because that move up could be counted as microwave 3 and that ABCDE could be counted as a corrective triangle 
in wave 4 down and that would leave us with another push down which would complete 5 wave fractal out of that lows at 2850. However, it did not happen and price started to decline again. So we got that rally to $30 and then we got another decline. This is the old post I made on March 14th, 2019 that if urban closes under 2880 that would be a bad bearish sign, it can spike through it and come back, then it will be corrective wave parenthesis B down, second stage for another rally and wave C up targeting $30. And this is where we are, March 19th, five days after that prediction, we got specifically what I predicted. We got a rally to $30. And at this point, we still could play for another higher high, but once we tagged $30, I unloaded all my shares and I was not willing to play for the final move up. At this point, I want to remind you that there are two days left for my special deal. You can use coupon join chat one at checkout to get 25% discount for my educational course. Instead of my regular price, $99.99, you will pay only $75 for a lifetime access to over 130 videos with over 6.5 hours length. In, in addition to that, this additional perk is that if you subscribe to my uh, course now, you will get a free trial period from educational chat where I keep updating my charts throughout the day and you will be able to use the chat for free until the end of May 2019. So basically you are going to get two months of uh, free chatting with me of updated charts throughout the day for free. And the value of those two months would be at least $100. So it's a really great opportunity to start learning the harmonic Elliott wave today. So now let's come back to Urban. This is 21st March 2019. And again, I showed my followers my bullish general outlook for that stock. I pointed their attention to the fact that the whole move up of the top in August 2018 was structured as a combination of corrective ABC structure. The first ABC down is, is labeled as wave W, then wave X up and then another ABC down. And what is remarkable about that structure, that in both pairs of ABC, wave C was 150% of wave A. The same happened here, ABC, and the same happened here, ABC to 100%, 150% extension of the first leg down in wave A. I also added another research for my followers. I pointed their attention to the fact that that level between 28.11 and 26.65 was a really important one. And to find that level, I came back two years earlier to July 2016 and February 2018, when that level worked either as a support, which would stop decline, or it would work as a resistance, which stopped pullback up. You should always come back and research the history of the stock you trade, because that would reveal you the most important levels where the price can terminate its move. And it doesn't matter whether that level terminated move up or down. What matters is that level actually terminated an important move. And if it did that in the past, the chances are it will do it again in the future. On March 21st, 2019, I also add a zoom in to 15 minute chart. And again, I pointed attention of my followers that we are dealing with a very complicated downside structure. We count this move up in January as a corrective wave 4 up and off the top we should get the final A down, B up and C down. And that blue C down has to be subdivided into 5 waves in its turn. And we have A, B, C of wave 1, wave 2, A of 3, B of 3, C of 3, wave 4. So we came to another wave 4 of a smaller degree to compare with this wave 4. Because that wave 4 is of larger size. 
And to complete that wave 5 started here, we need to complete that wave C, and to complete that wave C, we should complete all five waves down of that wave C. And of the top, we should only complete the final micro ABC move down. And I could get the complete ABC from here, and that actually again confirmed my expectation that the bottom should be done any day. 26 March 2019, again we see that price moved in deeply into the target box I highlighted earlier between 28.11 and 27.72 and it just stopped here, it did not want to move lower. And again I pointed attention of my followers that we have two declining wedges and they look really bullish and the stock was due for a breakout. Again, I want to remind you that on 21st March 2019, I posted that the zone 28, 11, 27, 65 is an important one. That was the target of this move. And this is exactly where price found its bottom. On March 28, 2019, I posted that you can see a complicated corrective WXY pattern in Urban that hit 66.7% retracement of the previous rally. And it looks like a classic bullish declining wedge. And here we can see that price started to move up again. At this point it was at 28.70 something, which was much higher than the bottom made under $28. And this is 29th of March 2019, 8.20 am in the morning, and here we are getting another rally, ABC of 1, ABC of 2, and here we got 5 down in wave parenthesis A of parenthesis 3, and from here I am expecting in pullback in wave B of 3. When you get a starting structure of a rally out of an important bottom, you don't longer short it, you only see up. And every time it gives you a nice pullback structured as ABC, you just add to your position. And every time it gets into your target zone, you unload part of your position. 9.26 am. It did not even decline, it just jumped up again and started to move to my next red target box. So where we are now as of today, if we zoom out to two hour chart, we can see that we got a nice completed 5 waves down of the top made in August 2018. And we have just started a corrective move up, and I see two important resistance zones. The first resistance zone is located in between 31.29 and 31.97, but I think the minimum target for that move up is located in between 32.60 and 34.49, the place where the previous attempts to, for previous pullbacks got terminated. That is why my plan is just to keep watching the stock and I will keep buying every single ABC structured pullback down. Now I want to remind you again that there are only two days left for my special deal when you can get a lifetime access to my educational course how to trade harmonic Elliott waves with 25% discount. That offer expires on 31st of March 2019. If you click get started now, you will get to an Udemy educational platform and you would need to enter that coupon join chat one to enjoy the 25% discount. I would also remind you that I have my Facebook group, it's called predict the next market move with harmonic Elliott wave theory and I will post a link to that group in description of that video and I would strongly recommend you to join it because during the day I post a lot of charts which I do not post on Twitter or stock tweets just because it's much easier for me and it takes much less time to post it on Facebook rather than my own website or rather than on Twitter or, or uh, stock tweets. Finally, I do ask you to like this video because when you leave your likes that actually makes me 
think about new videos and it makes me work harder to find interesting topics for new videos. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, please leave your likes, I would really appreciate it. Have a great Saturday and good luck with your trading.